Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Egypt Old Kingdom episode number 10, I'm gonna guess. I, I, was, I noticed in one I was off by two numbers, but I think the last one was 9, so I'm gonna guess this is 10. Anyway, we've taken this series uh, as far as I thought I would go. I, I did not conceive of this series going beyond 10, and yet here we are, um, possibly going on to 11 after this. We'll see. Um, I will probably wrap this series up soon so just giving you a heads up but we've gotten a great taste for the game um, I'm not saying this so that I conclude right now we will keep going for a bit but we have gotten a great taste for the game we really kind of see the essence of it it's this constant balance of these resources and you can tell that Claris Victoria the developers of this game have just done an exceptional job not just on the Egyptography or whatever the Egyptologist side of things but Certainly on uh, the game design, like keeping the numbers well balanced, it's just a... Uh, I'm actually not sure the last time I've seen any game this well balanced. Uh, maybe I haven't played this one enough to make such a glowing statement, but it feels like this one is better balanced than any game I've uh, that I can remember. I mean, I haven't... I've given it like exactly five seconds of thought. That five second, <laughs> this pause <laughs> was me thinking about other games. And so obviously I'm not seriously thinking about uh, the situation. But anyway, I think what we're going to do is, despite the fact that it costs us a fair amount of luxury goods, I want to create two more of these workers because in a way they can get back more than they are going to cost. So we're going to do that, and we're going to start exploring, we're going to start looking for Nubia, which uh, my sources tell me, my wanderers from far off lands, really a comment section on YouTube, has informed me that uh, Nubia has some good sources of luxuries, so we'll, we'll go search for them. In fact, I will just go crazy and do that. Spoilage is 0 0.7, which means that this this is negative 5.2, will actually last us three more turns. So this is deceptive, but by the time we need it, we can always exchange food for hammers and hammers for luxury goods. In fact, we're positive on hammers now. Uh, let's take a look at the, whoops, I think I did, yeah, the, our map, um, the local map. So that's costing us a fair amount, but Actually, this is the reason why we're doing so poorly. <laughs> now, I've been, I was talking to, I actually don't remember who it was. I mean, if you gave me a list of 20 names, I'd be able to pick it out, but I can't remember the name just from nothing. Was it Selenius? Uh, I cannot remember. Anyway, uh, I got some advice, a lot of advice from the comment section, and one of them was about these temples that we're building. Every time that thing pops up, that's how that temple, the next temple, is going to be. So this tomb customization, every time we build one, it's going to have this upkeep. And every time uh, we can choose different sets of like outlines for the tomb, we can do this, which means, yeah, it's going to cost another one luxury, but we get bonus three. Yeah, if we do this, yeah, it's going to cost another bonus one, but we get this doesn't make sense. Two food and one luxury for two, or one food and one luxury for three. Well, white limestone seems to be the best thing. Okay, the minus one and plus one turn. We obviously are kind of limited because in order to get all of the tombs we want within the 30 period, uh, 30 whatever time period. And I'm not sure if one luxury is worth three. Let's wait on this and we can always apply it later because right now we're a little bit strapped for luxuries. And I know I just said we can just swap resources around, but that does cost favor. And that favor could just as easily be spent giving us a flat bonus of 0 0.3 luxuries per so. Okay, so let's end the turn and keep pushing on. Okay, the new territory explored uh, is pretty useless to us. Can't build anything here. Can we even like put somebody there? No. And we knew that was gonna happen. I mean, it's, it's, it wasn't a, it wasn't very difficult to tell that this was the water. But I didn't know that it would just be a blank zone we can't do anything with. <laughs> I have to say I'm a little disappointed by that. Now this eight, 
makes me so curious to discover it. The fact that you, you seem to be guarding something. Okay, let's look at the technologies we have. We have workshops, tax revenue, and growth. I think I'm going to wait for the 650. Yeah, it's just another 80, and we'll get the 18 per. We're just going to speed up our uh, yeah technology. I want to, out of all of these, I feel like tech, uh, culture, technology, I'll say them interchangeably. I feel like that is, in general, in most games, the best bet, but maybe not in this one. I'm still going to lean on it and hope that it works out in our favor. Speaking of, I could get this 1%, which is nice. Now, of course, this 1% does mean that getting those other bonuses, getting the other plus culture sources, pays off a little bit more. So maybe I actually should just use Seshat for a little bit while. Um... We're on turn like 150 or so. What was it? 140. Well, we seem to be doing okay on favor, but favor always pays for itself. 0.9. We might barely not make that, so let me go ahead and just worship, worship Seshat one more time. And now we should make that. Oh, wow. So one time bonus of 104. That's pretty good. This is getting extremely costly, minus 27 per. <laughs> so yeah, we'll probably go back to Seeker for a bit because that is pretty brutal. Um, I don't want, let's try to find somebody who's gonna improve. This is 0 0.05 hammers per. This is military. I'm not gonna focus on military hammers. Plus 0 0.05 food. And this one is hammers up here as well. It, it, it's, uh, sorry, military. The military is not that interesting to me. I think that let's go with the closest one that does hammers, which, okay, this is plus 3.7 and it gets even better. Yep, we'll do that. I do like kind of specializing them. This is, must be military. It is. Okay, it's plus three. Wait, are there strategic resources? Okay, we've already discovered this. And set an expedition is not what I want to do. I, The comment section should let me know about this set an expedition. Without really understanding it, it doesn't seem that good. It gives you 1.5 hammers a turn. That doesn't seem that great. <laughs> Unless it's a 1.5 hammers added to this forever. No, 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 it's obviously plus 15 flat, so... Yeah, and actually, I think one of our people should go here next. Since we're at our limit, I'm not going to move there. Oh, okay, we can do the other one as well. So we'll do that. And technologies, like I said, we'll wait. And then we'll do tax income because we'll get more. But let's get the... These two, favor and culture, should always be prioritized over this. Unless there's like an absolute emergency. Hmm. Stone is ready to be used for construction. Now our ancestors' tombs will last for all eternity. Found three of three strategic resources in the Memphis region. One time, plus 30, plus 15. That really couldn't come at a better time. Quest, the copper of the Sinai. In order to meet the growing demands of our gods, we require more copper, which is abundant in the Sinai. We should first subdue the local tribes there, then dispatch regular expeditions there to mine the resource. Goal, take control over Sinai Mountains and mine that using expedition. Architects, two prominent architects at once aspire to become a master builder of the first Dynasty Tombs project. Both have their strengths and weaknesses. Whom shall we prefer? Okay, effect is plus 20%. Cost is plus 15%. I definitely do not like this one. The problem I have with this, I'm not sure I completely understand it, but the effect versus the cost. Is this just the initial cost or does it include the upkeep? That's the big thing. If this includes upkeep, then I would not want to do it at all because we don't really have any good effect from it. It's not like a great effect. <laughs> so 
We'll do it anyways, because it does math-wise come out, put us ahead, but definitely don't care about the speed, because we're, we've done a really good job at, at keeping at it. So we don't need the, the other thing. The scared people of the Bitter Lakes are glad we are prospering. They think that our God is truly great, and our people are blessed by the spirits. They respect us greatly, and that has brought us closer together. Okay, fantastic. I'm pretty happy that that happened. Do we have a person here? What, what are you doing there? What does that mean? You should be trading. I wonder how long he's been like that. I feel really stupid now. <laughs> Has he just been sitting there for a really long time? Okay, Sinai. This is scorpion people. We'll need to subdue them. Uh, would love to know what, well, we'll just have to wait one more turn. Well, maybe not just one more turn. Actually, I could do it right now. Just pop this guy out, put him over here, see what, what happens. Okay. So we have, we, wait, what? Oh, okay. So we have 460. Actually, we're up to the same military strength as the, Cor as the Scorpion people. This is amazing. Unfortunately, um, they have 482 and we have 183 because due to the remoteness of the region, only 40% of our total military can participate in the battle there. After an attack, relations will deteriorate. Well, you don't say. They aren't particularly happy to see us anyway. I wonder if we should launch a raid or something like that. Just... We probably should get enough military first, but if we launch a raid, we might be able to kill some of their units. It's only a third of ours at risk. And then... This number should be able to increase faster than theirs because... Well, I'm not sure if that's true. Would that be true? I'm pretty sure our military is increasing at a Good clip, though. We also have the pig people here. An abandoned settlement. Yeah. What is going on here? Okay, we have to be neutral to trade. Okay, so they, they're they really trying to provoke us into doing something over there. But in order to do something, we need a military. 486. Same thing. It's a bit expensive in terms of people. Okay, well, um, ho-hum. They really do want us to take it over, though. Well, is there one with military growth per... I don't know, well, there's power of enemies minus 20% during six turns. I don't really think that that's what I want. I probably should, should just keep doing Seeker, because that's how we got all these benefits anyway, right? Okay, so I can always put this guy back and just have him do... Well, we probably actually do want him to do military. And we need to increase taxes as well, but... Yeah, hammer-wise, we're probably okay. So let's actually go to military, which... If I can choose, I will choose the one closest to me. Okay, that's good. So, scare people are friendly. That's amazing. Great. Uh, we found something. This is now... Ooh, wow. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Ex that's plus 0.1 luxuries. I, like, do my eyes deceive me? Seems really good. Okay, alright, we'll take it. And now, this uh, being at our population limit, this makes me start to think... What if we put a house here versus, I mean, I'm thinking house or barracks. Obviously we need some more troops coming in. We have two barracks. It's not quite enough, is it? But then at the same time, we have a lot of places. I mean, we only have one spot left. So whatever we choose has to be a we have to be very, very comfortable with the decision. We can't get any more. I mean, we have houses all over the place. But it kind of makes sense. People need a place to live. The three workshops I'm pretty happy with. Those are saving our bacon in terms of luxuries, I'm sure. Okay, alright. We'll just, uh, we'll wait one turn. 
I mean, we have some people who are going to finish. I guess those are in two turns, two turns. So in two more turns, we're going to a lot of people are going to become available. Okay. Then I'm still, I actually I am feeling like we should build a house here. We're going to have to rely on the 0 0.05, which is just a 0 0.1 benefit per turn tick up with the military. Hope that this military we're not going to be military people and most of the time anyway so what does that mean i think that means that we just take somebody who's not doing something amazing like this guy who's doing food because food is not really important right now we build a house upkeep is only one hammer plus six well plus six is pretty good i mean think about this to get point I mean, for plus 0 0.05, that means it's going to take us 120 turns to get the same effect as a barracks by leaving them there. It sounds pretty bad. All right, all right. Go back and do your food thing. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take you. I don't. We don't need that food anyway. We're really doing quite okay on food. There's probably other places that are not worth working now that I'm... Uh, it's... That one's pushing it, 1.2 and 5. So we're going to start taking uh, people off the other things. By the way, are you almost domesticated? Domesticated. Do we have anybody who's still doing domestication? So we'll be able to see because they'll have the little favor icon above them. Yeah, I think everyone's done. So this, wow, 8%, my goodness, that might not be worth doing. The only one not worth doing. Okay, well, okay, let's go to the map of Egypt then and just start developing something else. Food, no, not food though. Hammer is okay, yes. Okay, so we'll do that and the turn. On a new source of red granite and he's wow switched over to geez man absolutely holy cow amazing and this is a strategic resource i think i could stand to <laughs> send the expedition minus two to get 30 in 10 turns that's pretty good that's plus three. Okay, something to consider. For now, we'll just let that grow. And then if we don't have to send them on an expedition, even better, right? So worship that. Okay, that's done. And next turn, we get three of our people back. Okay, well, everything looks good. We're just making a killing in terms of growth. We can always turn that into hammers, but actually we don't need to. So end the turn. We built another one. Hooray! New territory explored. Okay. So we got another one of these. <laughs> another one, you say? Alright, let's take it this one at a time. We explored this. Stork people. They look... Pretty good. Ah, we actually get... An army bonus for trade? Yeah, I'm very okay with that. The stork people, wow, the stork people are decent trading partners. Jeez, yeah. It's really not bad. Um, Let's do... Well, let me hold off on that because we have the Tomb of Jet. I mean, the next one. So explore the Nubians, yay, we explored them. And honestly, the new, the technology bon bonus is pretty darn good. So vulture people. What happens if we trade with you? Mediocre, pretty mediocre. I wonder if we can get tribes to 100% and then just annex them? That's what I'm thinking 
I'd like to do, especially with the stork people. I mean, if I'm trading in two different places with the stork people, does that mean... Um, does that mean 0 0.2 times 2? Do I get 0 0.4 relationship per turn? We'll have to find out. I mean, I'm not going to really be able to find out unless I closely monitor this because I don't see the, the decimal. So I'll just have to count how quickly it changes from 71 to 72 to 73. I mean, it'll be twice faster if it's multiplied by 2, so it shouldn't be that hard to notice. It's just having the, you know, remembering to actually check. The bonus from technologies is 78. Blessing is 12.1. Let's look at what it's doing for us. Twelve point one goes to thirteen point seven. So one point six. That's pretty good. One point six technology per click. That seems worth it. Okay, so we can do these three. Now that we've done this one, I think the next thing we should do is tax revenue because that's gonna pay well. The only thing we'd really want out of that is luxuries. So maybe the plus 0.4 for luxuries of workshops is going to be, yeah, probably going to be much more beneficial. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> that is pretty huge. And then we'll probably do this one. I mean, tax revenue, we can do them back to back. We're still improving places. Like, tax revenue is just these three, I think. Well, it's, I guess it's military as well, so these four. But if we're okay, what we really want to do is just improve for the future. So let's get this, um, let's get the luxuries because we are cutting that a little bit close and we can save favor. We can basically save this one favor by not having to swap our goods around with the pata. So let's discover this. Yeah, I don't have to lose three favor or one favor or whatever. I mean, whatever it's going to be is... Well, it basically only saves, staves it off by one turn, but. Now, this project that we finished, we have the same question about tomb customization. Oh, wow. Plus nine is the best. So I, I'm only looking at things in terms of Oh, but plus three turns, that is actually pretty costly. So this gives us one for three, and this gives us nine for two. I'm going to keep it simple for now and just rely on... I mean... Because these basic resources, yeah, they are supposed to... I'm, I'm now starting to see the game as more accruing these last two resources as much as you can, and just having enough of the first four to bypass events to survive and basically to build up you want to build to the future with these but you don't need them stored like okay military you probably do but the first three you don't you just need to have constantly investing to get a higher future income um, uh, so like using that mentality I probably should have done one of these. But I just don't know, I mean this is this is problematic. Minus six off the bat too. That's I just don't have that. I don't have that available. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're taking all my luxuries already. Cost is an extra minus six per turn? Or is it just minus six flat? Because if it's minus six for four turns, that means 1.5. Well, I still can't handle that, but <laughs> it's different. I wish we could experiment and find out, but I'm afraid to because it could be a catastrophic <laughs> situation. We don't even have the favor. I guess we don't need the favor. This 8.7 should be enough no matter what. Oh no, if it's subtracted six, we would actually be negative. Yeah, never mind. End the turn. Alright, this is good news. 
Rusticate. Now, 1.5. We can't even build anything in this wadi, but still it's 1.5 and 1.2, which is good enough for me. I mean, the 1.2 is huge. So. Now, Colts-wise, we have the same decision we always have. Okay, so wait, wait, will we domesticate another one? No. That is done. Um, how much longer until... Well, actually, I, I was going to say how much longer because I thought people were exploring, but we're actually stuck in trade and all that stuff everywhere. So we're kind of having a problem now with the luxuries. We're going to have to just do another plus 15 one-time thing. We can wait one more turn. We obviously want to do it as late as possible to minimize the spoilage. So we'll do that. Actually, we can... Well, that shot's looking better and better, right? <laughs> but if we have the favor, we can get the luxuries when we actually need it. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I still have a feeling that doing uh, Seeker as much as possible is going to be the best bet for the long-term game. That or technology. And the technology was improving by plus one, so that's something we should be thinking about. And as we get more technology, that growth, 1%, grows even bigger itself. So, okay, let's go back to technology after this, because we can also get the plus one favor of growth per turn from the technology stuff. And probably the balanced approach, I'm trying to say one is better, but maybe the balanced approach is just the best, the way the game scales. If they've managed to do that, that's, that's truly a feat. We found a new, oh, military threat. Our scouts have detected military preparations. The pig people want to pillage our lands and are getting ready to attack. Okay, let me find the enemy. Oh, actually, this is great. I mean, this is actually fantastic because they should lose men to our massively superior army. Okay, so let's do this. I didn't even check my favor. I could have just cost us the game by doing that. That was really stupid. Um, okay, we found new stuff here. We're getting that. That's great. Anytime I see more than just one item growing, it's really good to see. In fact, this guy who's only growing by 0.05, just spread him along, see if there's anywhere else that's changed now with discoveries or anything. Okay, no, that's it. But because the 0 0.05 is so low, I might actually still send him somewhere else. We got 100 free technology for it. I mean, look at this. It's huge. We got 100 free technology for... Exploring the sea last time. It's only two turns. Two turns for 100 is... Well, actually it's... Not that much at all, considering I'm seeing plus 205. How is this so much? How are we getting 200? Does, something doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I really don't understand it, but 370, we're just going to annihilate that. We just need to have enough to counter, like, counterattack. Okay, who... Where should this one last guy go? Let's explore this. It juts out. I, I'm kind of interested. This is probably the next step after that to explore these. So, all right. Now we have to deal with our lack of luxuries. Actually, we don't even need to exchange food for hammers because our hammer situation is quite good. Okay, good. So that's taken care of. That. Um, yeah, we still need to deal with these guys, but we'll deal with them. Okay, unfortunately this is the pig people and not the scorpion people. I think a raid is going to be the best bet, I really do, because it'll slowly, it'll weaken their military. Our military will take damage, but it should spring up faster than theirs. Especially because I assume, yeah, so this one for example, we're growing faster. We're growing more every turn. Yeah, and the taxes thing is going to be a huge difference, too. We might actually have positive luxuries <laughs> if we can ever uh, just increase our taxes. All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to do Thoth now. 
switch that up. Cyrus, we're okay because we don't need to do any more of the exchange stuff. Technology-wise, we can do tax revenue, growth, growth, or tax revenue. Or, well, this one is, seems pretty important. Actually, it requires the gnome system. Oh, plus 2%, which is going to be essentially like, what, if this is 1.3, then this one should be 2.6. That's not that much. But it's something. And plus one temples. How many temples do we have? I assume that the... Oh, we need the royal statuary for this. So we need that anyway. Gosh, so many... I, the game is so cool the way it makes you make all these crazy decisions. Um, traded income plus 50% seems like it would be pretty good too. This is 1200 though. I think I can't justify bypassing this other stuff first for that high of a gain. And I think what I want to do is actually do... I think I'm going to do them in reverse order because it'll be easier. No, that doesn't make sense. Like This will take away more and the idea I had with that is if there was any kind of decay that would make it better, but there's no decay for this, so. Tax revenue, I really don't know how much, I'm curious how much tax revenue will do, but let's stick with our tried and true that we know that the last two are the most important. So let's prioritize those. Okay, good, good, good. And I'm really leaning towards building a house now I would love the extra settlers. I don't know what other events are going to give me more settlers, but what if, you know, what if there aren't any more? Or even then, I mean, okay, the upkeep upkeep is a bit painful, but I still think it's got to be a house. And we know that a house pays for itself, even if the tile isn't worked. Okay, so we'll just take somebody off food again and send them... To, oh, I already took that person off food. <laughs> we'll take someone else off food. Someone else off food. Somebody else who's only food? Is there anybody who's only... Was that the only only... Was that the only only dash food person? <laughs> I think so. Everyone else is, has more than just food. Okay, well, that's actually a good thing. I mean, that means we're being very efficient about the places we're working. But it also means there's no obvious choice for who I need to pull away. And we still want the hammers, I think. Well, we just pull somebody from here, I guess. You know, is there anybody who is just like this? We don't need that. All right, so let's get a house instead. And then we can... I think that's the right decision. It feels right. We can always tear down a house and do something else. And houses aren't that expensive to build. So, okay, 146, let's move on to 147. We'll probably wrap it up there. I was going to try to make it to 150, but that would have been over 10 turns. We're slowing down to about 10 turns per now, you know. Another temple goes up. Jeez, man, it's crazy. Lots of temples. Sandstorm, whoa! They don't, they don't mean whoa as in I just said it. They mean whoa. They mean like, whoa is us. No, that's... Eh. Now, Woe Is Us would also be W-H-O-A, right? No, that's Woa. Yeah, how do you say these things? Whoa, this is Woe. <laughs> I'm tired. I need to stop debating how to say the word Woe. Seth, god of the desert and storm, has entered a frenzy and throws great storms at us, spreading chaos and destruction. Minus 60% for two turns. That's... Well, that's brutal. We can survive by the skin of our teeth, but... Yeah, it's a good place to wrap this one up, though. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you back for the next episode. Until then, take care.